watching Psycho Cruises All in One Sport Bike Channel, where I cover everything from new rider information, gear reviews, product reviews, motor vlogs, DIY maintenance, bike reviews, safety tips, how tos, and a new motor vlog every Thursday. Subscribe today! Before you do a video request, you might want to check out my website at psychocruiser.com and check out my video library and playlists. You may find the video that you're looking for. Just click on the My Videos tab. Have you ever ridden on a really sunny day in very bright conditions? It's just fucking irritating. It's so sunny you can't see shit. It's just really you're squinting and you put on sunglasses and it's still kind of irritating. Just the sun beaming down in your helmet. Well, hey guys, I have a solution for you. Just get a mirror tinted shield for your Scorpion helmet. I'm going to do a little review on it and show you how to install one. And I'm going to show you what it looks like from the inside of the helmet with the mirror tinted shield on. To remove the clear shield from the Scorpion EXO 500 and 400 helmet, the 500 shown here by the way, just turn the dial on the side of the helmet clockwise and lift the edge of the shield up and it'll pop right off. And just do the same on the other side as well. Very easy. Now to put the tinted shield on, which is very easy as well, first locate the slots on the side of the helmet. Then take the node, which is on the shield, that little node that you see there, and you're going to put that into the slot on the side of the helmet and then push down and it will click. And do the same on the other side and voila. Your shield is on your helmet. Now you got a cool mirror tinted shield that's going to make your riding experience much better. What's really cool about the Scorpion EXO 500 helmet over the EXO 400 helmet is that the 500 has a drop down inner tinted shield. Which is really cool because that's going to provide you extra protection from the sun. Okay, now here's a view inside the helmet with the silver mirror shield on and with the built-in tinted visor down for extra protection from the sun's rays. Okay, now here's a look inside the Scorpion EXO 400 helmet with the blue mirror tinted shield on. It's just as clear as the silver mirror tinted shield. I must say the blue mirror tinted shield looks awesome too. My experience with the mirror tinted shields, first off they look cool. I think most of us will agree they look awesome. But the view can be too dark at night, especially when you're riding at night in rural areas and low light conditions. It can suck. And it helps to have a clear shield on hand to switch over. Uh, the shield scratches easy. You have to be very careful. One time I was taking the helmet off and I hit the ceiling fan. And it put a mark in my blue mirror tinted shield. And I was kind of pissed off. Because I mean these mirror tinted shields are, you know, they're not cheap. Uh, but I'll tell you. Since I switched over to the Scorpion EXO 500 helmet with the drop down tinted shield. I still find myself uncomfortable riding in very sunny conditions uh, because, I don't know, the sun beams through the helmet and it's still just really irritating. I find myself squinting still. So I was like, hey, I need to switch over to the mirror tinted shield. But you know what? I don't ride at night much anymore, so it's really not necessary to carry the extra shield anymore. Now it's more enjoyable riding in bright sunny conditions because now I have uh, two layers of tinted protection. Fog is not an issue on the EXO 500 mirror tinted shield. It was a problem on occasion with the Scorpion EXO 400 helmet. So that's something to consider. Uh, like I said, these shields are not cheap. In my opinion, these shields should be scratch proof, most definitely. By the way, in the info section of this video, I included the links to get the tinted mirror shields that you see in this video. And also the helmets that you see in this video. So hey, go check that out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. And it's time for Psycho Cruiser's Recommended Videos.
Links are in the info section of this video. High viz is the way to go, baby. So check out my Scorpion EXO 500 Neon Oil Helmet Review. So you want a high viz helmet, but you can't find a good one that you like? Just use your own helmet, man. Plasti dip your helmet. Check out my how to plasti dip your helmet video. You riders out there tired of wearing that heavy ass, hot ass, expensive leather motorcycle jackets in the summertime? Well, I got a better solution for you guys. Some urban streetwear that's lightweight, flows a ton of air, has even more protection than most of the motorcycle jackets out there. Full spine protection, full chest protection, full arm protection. You can even mount GoPro Heroes on it. Check out my review on the CE Armor Jacket. Yeah. Are you looking for an easy way to mount your action camera to your helmet? Something that's way stronger than Velcro? Well, I got a great solution for you guys. Check out my review on the Power Grip Pedal Tape. Psycho Cruiser Sport Bike Themed Apparel at PsychoCruiser.com PsychoCruiser.com if you get a chance, check out my other channel, Psycho Cruiser Moto Vlogs, where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit. If you get a chance, like me at facebook.com forward slash Psycho Cruiser 1 for new updates and to browse my video library.